So another feature or function we have on this control is a conversational programming interface made by Fanuc called Manual Guide Eye. On this simulator, we access it by pressing the graph button for graphics. On some other machine tools, there may be a different entry point to that, could be a different button. Once we're in this screen here, now the, the interface looks a little bit more familiar. We're back into color, we look a little bit more like a Windows interface. And it's very, very simple to get programs into this, this area as well. So if we press O list, it's gonna list our part programs. So at the moment, we're in this CNC memory user path one, and we already have program one in there. We just loaded that in there. If we select the in and out soft key, and then we select another part program, I know this to work. So if we're gonna select the m underscore prog dot txt, press the input soft key, and now we see it input the program. We press return and come back out. Now we have additional programs in there. So that part program actually brought in two programs here. And if we use the cursors to highlight the part program and press open, now our part program is that new program that we've just selected. Additionally, within Manual Guide Eye, what we can do is run a simulation of this part program. But to do that, we also need to tell the, the control the blank material size, and we also need to tell it the radius information of the tool. So we do need to input some more data. This can be done by actually programming the control, or we can go to the tool offset by pressing the right hand soft key a few times. We get to the tool offset. So we have tool offset and tool data. Tool data is essentially drills, chamfer drills, end mills, ball nose mills, taps, and a whole host of other tools that we can use. We're gonna select the input, okay? We're gonna go down and find the tool database. Press input and close. We go back to our tool offset, press the right hand key again, press input and find the tool offset, this file here, and press input. This happens very, very quickly. So now we have tool information in there as well. If we then use the arrow to scroll across, you'll see a button here that says simulate. We press this, okay? The first line of this part program is a, a four digit G code, which is essentially a cycle that is specific to manual guide eye and it will define the blank material. So this should be a rectangular block. So when we get to that line, you'll see the image change. This will go through very, very quickly. We're still in edit mode. So now we can see the part program execution. This isn't real time. This is just a theoretical go through the part as quickly as possible. In there, we can change the size, zoom in, zoom out. We can also rotate. So a common one would be to put the orientation to that of a regular vertical mill. So we go in an isometric view, select this one, press OK. Now our blank starts there. The animation continues, even though the drawing has been redrawn again. So we can rewind, press play again, and go through this. So if that simulation was a little bit too fast, which is understandable, we can slow it down. If we press the right hand arrow twice when we're in simulation mode, at the moment these are blank, these soft keys. We can assign a couple of soft keys here to allow us to have speed steps so we can slow it down. To do that, we will need to change some parameters in the control. So first of all, we go back to the offset screen, press the setting button, select MDI, turn on our parameter right enable. This is gonna trigger an alarm on the control. Now this control is receptive to parameter changes. Press the system. Okay, now we're into the parameter screen. The parameter for this particular, what we call speed step switches is 27335. Number search, number of speed step switches. We select this to a nine, press input, the parameter changes. Go back to our offset screen, our settings, back, Put a zero back in the parameter right enable. Okay, that locks the parameters up again. Press the reset to clear the alarm. Go back to the manual guide eye screen. 
back into edit mode, simulate, and now if we move across, we have some additional buttons here. So if we press start and then slow it down a few times, you'll see a little yellow bar here gets smaller as we go down. So now we're able to control the speed of simulation. Alternatively, instead of 3D solid, we can also look at toolpath. So this soft key here, we stop the simulation, rewind the program, select toolpath and press play. The red dotted line are rapid moves and then we'll see the actual cutting feed is in a teal color. Now, one other additional thing, as we're still in simulation mode, we're not in real time, our actual feeds and speeds are not accounted for. We can stop, rewind the program, turn the graphics back off. Now we select the control in auto mode. Some people call this memory mode on a machine. So now we're in auto, okay? Our next step, if we press machine draw, okay, we're gonna see the wireframe toolpath again. But now by pressing cycle start on the operator panel, now we're in real time. And now my feed rate override does have an effect on the program. So if I'm coming in on a rapid and I want to slow it down, I can control the speed here. Once I'm confident, I put it back up to 100% and let it run through. It's now when other features like dry run or block skip, uh, these types of buttons come into play.